Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video and today we're going to be driving the class 314 214 in the Scotrail livery on the west coast mainline north route I believe we're doing a service the 1319 Glasgow Central to Larkhall service so yeah this should be really fun so yeah let's get the train ready On ah, what is this? Oh, there you go. For some reason, I wasn't doing it. Uh, let's put that into neutral. Let's get the train ready. Uh, put the lights on. Always raining, so put the wipers on. Lights are there. Um, wipers, where are the wipers? We'll turn the, that off. Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it's this. Oh, there we go. A nice screenshot. So I believe this service already started at Glasgow Central, but we're taking over from Kirkhill, calling at Newton, uh, Blantyre, Hamilton West, Hamilton Central, uh, Chel. Tell I can't pronounce that. I'll skip that. Marathon and Larkhall. Pretty bad weather up north. But yeah, this is the other variant of the class 315, I guess. So with this pack, you get the class 314 and the class 315. And you get one. Of the, this is one of the liveries you get, which is really really nice. Scott Rail, Scotland Railway livery. There are two more scenarios on the West Coast Mainline North route, which you get with uh, different liveries, but this one looked the most interesting, so we went for this one. Unfortunately, there's no passenger view. Which kind of sucks, but what can you do? And we're driving a free car train, and yeah. Boarding complete. Please close the doors, and yeah, let's get going. I forgot to do something. I don't think I have. Oh, the doors are still open. That's probably why. Um, close the door. Will I close it? Hmm. No, that's the open. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Is there a closed door button on this side? Uh, no, there isn't. We'll put a dim mister on, why not? Don't ask me why, but... Anyways, we are already late, so... Let's go to Notch 4 straight away. The train sounds amazing. Great acceleration. Oh yeah, this is the first time I'm driving on the West Coast Mainline North route, which I did recently purchase in the Steam sale.
and now approaching Newton, our first stop of the journey. Well, I guess not really if you come from Glasgow Central, but for us it's our first um, stop on this journey. It is a bit laggy, not gonna lie. That's a class 321. Very nice. I don't know what livery that is. That looks like the Scott Rail livery. And that is an Armstrong Powerhouse uh, Class 321 if you're wondering, so you need to own that for AI for this scenario. I think we might have overshot this. Yeah, slightly. Because the brakes are uh, not as good as I thought. That's okay though. Uh, the back two doors open, so that's okay. Back four doors, sorry. All aboard, all aboard. Okay, someone added me to friends list, probably for a Rock League trade, but they'll have to wait. Apologies for always shooting the platform. It's my first drive with the class 314. I'm pretty sure you can change the destination board on this train, but I'm not too sure. And I can't remember either, so I'm sure he's in the manual somewhere. So we've got 75 miles an hour max spe speed limit. Boarding complete. Let's close the doors. So it's on this side. So you do have to close the doors manually. I think you can open the doors manually as well, but you have to set it up, I believe. Next station is Blantyre. This is a Scott Rail service to uh, Larkhall. It, did t it does say register yourself on the GS um, slash dash R, but um, I'm not too sure how to do that. Deregister, standing in signal. I think you have to put something in. I'm not too sure what number or letters you have to put, but. Normally it says in the description up here, but I guess it's not. Yeah, let's try and sound. Train sounds very, very, very nice. Just like the class 315. Can't open the windows, unfortunately, but any buttons at the back here. to arrive at each station so no need to always shoot a platform and try to get on time because it doesn't really tell us what time to arrive at the next few stations actually yeah, the rest of the stations it doesn't tell us so it's not slow down now we're now approaching Blantyre for platform 2 Approach the station at 30 miles an hour, it should be okay. And 
just put full service and that should slow down perfectly. Screenshots, why not? It would be nice if there was a passenger here, but I guess they want to add one. SPT rail, interesting. Oh, we need to go in the cab anyway because I have to close the doors. Not too sure if there's a button to do that, but yeah. A keyboard shortcut. Next station is Hamilton West. Yeah, maybe we're celebrating a bit too much. big routes there's a bunch of scenarios to do um, on this route so stay tuned for that I definitely do a feed with the class 390 which I'm looking forward to it was a route I meant to get a long time ago but I never decided to get it but, but when I was buying this pack uh, I saw that there were some scenarios with this train on this route so I thought let me buy it why not? Oh, Hamilton West and Hamilton Central is quite close to each other. Reminds me of Clapham High Street and Wandsworth Road. The two stations quite close to each other on the London Overground network. We are now approaching Hamilton West. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. I guess. Don't know if there's a big gap, but we'll soon find out. Welcome to Hamilton West. Church bells ringing. Yeah, pretty nice station actually. Really nice. Hamilton West for natural rail services. But upstairs towards the street level. Very nice. Let's close the doors. Actually, I forgot to check the gap actually. Uh, the gap's actually not too bad actually, so you don't really need to mind the gap, but obviously all is due, just in case. Here's a big gap, like at Wilson Junction, when you get off the overground train. Or a massive step up when you uh, get off the Bakerloo line. The next station is Hamilton Central. We have 
30 mile an hour speed limit, so we do need to uh, keep within those limits. So we've got um, one, two, three, four stops left. So the other two scenarios are even shorter than this one, which are both 20 minutes long, so this is the longest scenario you get. But uh, obviously, I guess there are some third party scenarios which uses our Armstrong Powerhouse trains somewhere, but obviously it's not Steam Workshop compatible, so you can't install. Uh, I don't know, maybe some people can uh, make some scenarios with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Armstrong Powerhouse uh, items on the Steam Workshop, but I think only a few uh, people know how to do that. Approaching Hamilton Central. So that guy is stuck on the stairs. That's a new character. a new character model for the, this particular route or something, I don't know. That's actually a really nice screenshot. What is she trying to do anyway? Buy a ticket, I guess. Anyways, we need to get going. Still uh, pouring down with rain. Next station is um, a station I can't pronounce, so yeah, we're heading to that station next. The is actually pretty nice on this route. Really, really nice. Nice houses. Never been up north, but I would like to go one day. Probably take a Pendolino service from Virgin Pendolino service from um, Houston all the way to Glasgow Central, or probably something like that. Actually, four and a half hours long, so I probably wouldn't look forward to staying in the train for that long. But I guess if you want to go by train to Glasgow from L London, that's the only one you can do. And look at this, very nice bridge. Into the tunnel we got. If you want, you can um, dive on this side as well, but obviously the path is blocking. I wonder where those tracks go to. You never know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Some of you who travel on this part of the route, in real life.
So we are now approaching... I'm just gonna call it Chateau. Heralds. Actually, that's probably how you pronounce it anyway, so... I think that was a decent effort. Train is ready to depart. Please find the doors. Next station is Meriton, followed by Narco, where this train terminates. Approaching Meriton, and Larkle seems to be like on a hill, which is interesting. You can see like the steepness on the HUD. It's going uphill. stairs for this platform here but there's no uh, platform here so maybe it used to be two platforms here but now it's just a single piece of track which makes sense because it's just like a small branch line oh there's another set of stairs up here I think that's the exit I believe yeah to the car park interesting yeah a lot, lot of these small branches in the UK like are now with single branches instead of dual branches because so many people use it Makes sense. But well, if you're someone who takes a train to all the way to Larkhall, then I guess these trains come every maybe like half an hour or so, which would be pretty annoying. Okay. 
we were going uh, down, uh, as we were going uphill, I was going backwards even with Notch 2, so I just decided to uh, go straight towards Notch 4, which helped. That's probably not the right way to uh, get up a hill, but I guess that's how I do it. But yeah, next station is Larkhold, where this train terminates. All change, please, all change. This train terminates here. Take your belongings with you. As any remaining will be taken without notice. two platforms that lock hold so while one train comes in the other train uh, leaves guess we can go right to the end of the platform why not nothing here will do actually This train terminates here, this train terminates here. Prefab cabin. Massive to run with a class 314. So where are we on the map anyway? Okay, we're down here. That's a small branch line. Really, really nice. Okay, I forgot to close the doors, but that's okay. Sure that train will go back towards Glasgow Central. But yeah, eight out of eight completed. Uh yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoy that one. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.